on my break off from the weak minds, they can stay soft You can change lives, you create thoughts, never waste time You got one shot, you got one life, better pop off What do you like? Make a dream job No 9-5, no mean boss, just my life and free thoughts One more thing, I did see a story about Antonio Brown That I literally sent you like two minutes before we, we started this podcast Yeah And um, <clears throat> where he was saying, you know how come all these other receivers, basically, how come all these receivers are getting paid and I'm not? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm still at the top of my game. Oh, I can't wait to answer this. And um, and I think the right answer, I guess the right political answer would be, just look at what you've done. Like, <laughs> yeah. what is wrong? Seriously, man? Like, are yeah. you seriously this oblivious to what you have done over your career? Right? Like, are, are you kidding me? I right. thought that was so funny. And then he was like, how come everyone's getting paid? And I was like, I also want to bring up that the Las Vegas Raiders also wanted to pay you. They did pay you. And, and yeah, you a lot never of money went through fact. with it. So let's, you know, you were paid. You just kind of messed that up. So Severely. Let's, let's be honest here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Cody? Well, okay, so I will try to dissect this as quickly as possible because I'm chomping at the bit for this now. So first off, to answer his question, why is he not getting paid like these other guys? First off, they're on the field. He's not. Um, He's also not ran out on a team in the middle of a game. He's also not uh, released recordings of his head coach. Um, And truthfully, too, with Antonio Brown, if you want to know why Antonio Brown isn't getting paid, maybe you should ask Antonio Brown why you're not getting paid. I, I think he, I think you'll uh, solve that, you know, that problem. But I also do want to say, if anyone has the opportunity to watch the new uh, podcast that Ryan Clark is on called The Pivot, it's very good, by the way. I've seen a couple episodes and it's it's phenomenal. Uh, AB was actually on it, which I watched the whole thing and it was very interesting. Um, I would say AB is a different type of receiver that we've never seen before personality wise uh we thought to was you know larger than life ab kind of eclipses that and i don't know in a positive way and in my opinion i think it's because you know ab is very productive but he's also not everyone's cup of tea i mean his personality was very loud in this interview sometimes you were confused on what he was talking about and i get it like that's him and that's who you get on your team but that could be a reason why. And I'm not saying to change who you are to get on a team, but I'm just saying, you know, you have to kind of take everything into 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 account, you know, like maybe it's how you are around your teammates, your coaches, around personnel. Uh, maybe it's the fact that you aren't reliable. I can't trust you. Teammates can't trust you because you may burn them, you know, and I just think that that's his problem. And he's never on the field because he's got some sort of issue whether it's an injury, which apparently now he doesn't want to get it fixed until a team signs him, which that's not going to happen, or, um, or you know, it's some sort of legal issue off the field that has prevented him because again, AB is you know is, is larger than life, and unfortunately, his life has become probably more than what he can handle. But I mean, there's just so much to dissect here. But I mean. Look no further than to answer that himself by just saying, I'm the problem. Maybe some (laughs) self-reflection would really do this guy some good. But I mean, is he a great talent? 100%. But I think what's being wasted about it is his attitude towards everything where, yes, you have earned a lot. But I mean, look at T.O. towards the latter part of his career. He wasn't getting huge contracts because of what he did all those years before. He was getting them because he was still producing on the field. And then when teams weren't signing him is because they didn't think he can produce on the field. I mean, it's a business. He knows that almost better than everybody. And it's all about what you do. If they can't trust you to be on the field, why would they pay you? You know? Anyways, yeah. that's that's my synopsis of what you sent me. Because I saw it earlier this morning, and I've had all day to fester on that. So <laughs> I will I will say, uh, I'm, or actually, I'm going to push back on what you said just a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, Antonio Brown, if you were listening, which we know you are. Um, <laughs> Yes, absolutely, a hundred percent. Change who you are for a team. I'm sorry. I, I know that's cruel, and yeah. in this day and age, you're not supposed to say that. But no, you need to. Like, you need to change who you are because it's you're not going to be on a team if you don't. 